So I was just going to shoot another video and I got a call from my friend and, um, and he said, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Do you want to go for a coffee or are you busy? So I said to him, I'm never busy. He said, well, what do you mean I'm never busy? I said, busy is a toxic concept. It's not a reality that I would choose to buy into. Forgive me for saying this. He said, well, you know what I mean. I said, yeah, I know, but you know, it's, it's, it's a toxic concept, so I'm just flagging it up. I may or may not be doing things, I may or not be choosing to do things. So he said to me, you know, in what way is it a toxic concept? You know what I mean, it's just a word. And I pointed it out. Well, you see, busy, busy is a concept that orientates you into a victim space. Being busy is about reacting to the world around you, about having too much to do, having all this stuff that you have to react to. Where is your choice in busy? Where is your power in busy? You know, and it's a concept that's deeply embedded in society, in society, certainly the, the culture in which I live in. And busy is seen as good. People say, how are you doing? I say, oh, you know, keeping busy. That's a good thing, supposedly. But it's not. It's disempowering. So I, I explained this to my friend and he said to me, you know, so what do you say instead? What do you use instead of busy? What word do you use? And I pointed out, well, you don't need it. You don't need it in your vocabulary. If somebody says, what are you doing? You can just say what you're doing. You know, you can say what you're doing. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, I'm making some videos. I'm going rollerblading. Uh, I'm spending some time with my family. And by stating the things you're doing, you're coming from a place of stating what you are choosing to do. I'm choosing to do these things. These are the things I've chosen to do. That puts you in the place of ownership, in the place of being proactive in your life. Being busy is about being reactive. It's about being owned by life. It's a victim to life, you know. Busy is being the pinball on the pinball table. It's not having autonomy. It's not making decisions. It's not taking choices. So I'm going to suggest to you, you watch out for this. Because you might think this is innocuous. You might think this is just another word that people use. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. It's just a word. It just explains something. It's not. It's another piece of cultural hypnosis that silently and outside of consciousness undermines us. We do not want to be busy. We do not want to be at effect. We do not want to be reacting to the demands of life. We want to be choosing our life, choosing how we engage with life, choosing how we spend our precious time, choosing what we do, choosing the stuff that is meaningful to us. Step up, get into the driver's seat, stop being busy and start choosing how you use and spend your time.